Welcome to Weld School. This is a brief video on the welding positions. Uh, as we mentioned in one of the other videos, there are five basic joints. Three of them are fillets. Two of them are grooves. The fillets include T, corner, and lat. The two types of grooves are going to be butt weld, and edge weld. We can go ahead and divide up all of our positions into a flat, horizontal, vertical, and overhead. And in that order is one, two, three, and four. So flat is always one, whether it's groove or fillet. Twos are always horizontal, threes are verticals, and fours are overhead. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, T for the fillet example and a lot of cases we want to act like this sitting on a table flat is the flat position but I can assure you it is not a flat position is tilted in a way that the rod can come at a 90 degree angle so straight up and down and that would allow gravity to kind of work on our side so this is a 1F fillet weld or a 1F T Okay, a 2F would be this maybe sitting flat on a workbench and the rod coming in around a 45, doesn't have to be necessarily a 45, but coming in this way where gravity's kind of pushing down. Vertical is going to be up or down. There is a purpose to use up and down. Typically thicker metals go up and thinner metals go down. And our overhead 4F is going to be like such, where we're going a 45 degree angle upward, kind of just the flip flop of that 2F. Okay, so 1F, 2F, 3F, and 4F. I'm going to use the butt weld as the example for the grooves. Flat, this one literally you could set it on a workbench and weld. The rod is coming in at a 90 degree angle. So this would be 1G. Horizontal would then be welding across 2G. That's then vertical, up or down. And the same rule can apply. Thicker is typically up and thinner is usually down. Not in all cases, but uh, that's kind of the general rule of thumb. So that would be your 3G. And finally, you're going to have 4G as your overhead. So 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G. That wraps up weld positions for plate and sheet metal. This does not include pipe welding.